Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you for following my budgeting journey. I'm going to go over all of our spending for May and let you know how we did. Last month in April, we did so good. May, not so much. Um, it just shows you how important budgeting is when you don't have a good month um, because you know how important it is to do better and to stick to it. Um, and to not get distracted away from it because it's so important, especially if you're looking into some goals such as paying off debt and building up your savings. Um, so I'm just going to go over everything with you really quick. I'm sorry I look like a hot mess. I got home from work at 2 in the morning. The kids were up multiple times through the night and then we were up and out the door at 7.45. So I'm really tired today and I get to do it again. But um, I wouldn't want it any other way. I really like working nights, so I am available all day with the kids. And today is the last day of school for Scarlett, even though I forgot to give her breakfast this morning. That's mom life for you. But <laughs> she has a good lunch, so hopefully that makes up for it. Um, but let's go right into my budget. Um, for rent is $15.62, and that's what we paid. Um, our phone bill is $92 projected, and we paid $92. That is Metro PCS for two lines. Um, our electricity, we budget $50 and our electricity bill was $20. Um, we are paying $50, so we're paying $30 over this month because it is coming into June and July and August. And I know our electric bill is going to start going up. So since our electric bill was so low this month, literally this month, we um, used the, le the least amount of electricity that we've used in like three years it shows like a graph on our electric bill so we've used like the least amount of electricity I don't know why I can't say that word in the past three years this past month we just didn't use it and a lot of people have been asking me or not a lot of you but a couple of you have been asking me how our electric bill is so low and part of it is we don't use a lot of electricity the kids and my husband go to bed at 7 p.m. so we don't really use many lights because honestly we're asleep by the time it's dark and I'm at work when I get home I go right to sleep so the lights aren't on really long. We don't have the TV on very much. Um, basically our electricity is for like the refrigerator, um, charging the kids iPad for when they want to watch a movie, um, charging our cell phones, and that's about it. We don't use a lot. We have a fish, so his fish tank has a um, filter that's plugged in and a, what is it called, a heater. So um, we don't use a lot of electricity and also we are in a income assistance program where if your income is within a certain range, you qualify for like a discount on your electric bill. So definitely look into that. We have Southern California Edison for our electricity and there are two programs. One of them is like for low income and it is a really good discount. We don't qualify for that one, but we do one for a, um, like, I don't know what it's called. It's like not super low income, but we qualify enough to get a little discount on our electric bill. And we're in an apartment, so definitely an apartment is going to have a lower electricity bill than a house. And we don't have to pay for water, gas, or trash for our apartment building. Um, they include all of that in our utilities, so we just have to pay for our electricity. Um, our next bill is our um, Hulu and Netflix. That is our entertainment. We watch it all the time. Um, usually I will watch it from my phone or my husband watch it on his iPad. We don't use the TV that much. Um, probably it's on for like an hour a day or so. But um, that is $22 altogether. Um, for gas, um, we budget $250. It took a while to figure out how much we spent on gas because honestly, I didn't know. I just got gas when I needed gas. But now I know we spend um, just under $250 every month. Um, I think last month we went over like a couple dollars. This month I spent $239.56. That's for my husband's car and my car for the whole month of May. So um, we were under by $10. Um, for our car insurance, it is $127. Um, we budget $130 just to round it up and keep it even. Um, so we were under by $3 and it's the same every single month. I think it's actually re, it's like every six months, every six months it like resets kind of and like we get a new amount of how much we're spending. So I think that's coming up soon. Um, let me know if any of you like pay your whole six months at one time or a year because I know it's cheaper that way but we've always just done it monthly so I don't even know if that's something I should look into but let me know 
Um, for groceries, our budget is $400 a month. We spent $394. Um, last week, we did go back to the store and got strawberries, um, sourdough bread, and coffee creamer. So we were under our budget by $6. So that was great. Um, for dining now, our budget is $50. We use cash for that. This month we used um, $78. So we used our $50 in cash. And at the very beginning of the month, we were at open house for Scarlet School. We got out super late and it was already bedtime. So we just got Chick-fil-A and it was $28 for the four of us to have Chick-fil-A. Um, and we just swiped our card and I forgot all about it. I never took it out of our cash envelopes. Um, I didn't use the cash I had with me. Like, I don't know why. I need to still get used to using cash because it's so easy to just swipe your card. So when I added that at the end of the month, I was just going through all our charges, making sure they were all accounted for, and I found that $28 charge at Chick-fil-A. So we spent $78 this month eating out, which is not good. Um, I wish I would have taken that $28 out of our cash so that way we didn't just use it because sometimes I feel like the bad thing with the cash envelopes is sometimes I feel like since I have the cash, I should use it. Let me know if you've ever had this problem. But honestly, some months we don't spend $50 eating out. We don't eat out at all. But now that I'm like, oh, we have $50 to eat out, it makes me want to eat out and like want to use the money, if that makes any sense. So let me know. I'm sorry I keep saying let me know, but <laughs> um, for the kids' cash envelopes, they get $60 in there, and we used all of it. Um, we put Savannah into this little gymnastics class. It was like $30 for, um, it's at the um, city and um, the community center, and she is doing so cute in that, and it's just like for a month. Um, she's already almost done with it, but it was $30 or $35, and then we got her a little gymnastics leotard at Walmart. It was like $5. Um, and then I think the only other thing we got was like a pair or two pairs of sandals. So we spent all of their money in their cash envelope. Literally all my cash envelopes are empty except for the preschool envelope, the car emergency and the medical emergency envelopes. So I'm like sad that we didn't like leave any money left over. Like we spent so much money this month. We like spent everything we had to spend. We spent. Um, medical, I have budgeted $115. That's two doctor's appointments and then all of our prescriptions that we need for the month. Um, and we spent $179. So I did pull out money from our medical, um, emergency envelope and I used that to cover the difference. So I'm only taking $115 out of our budget. Um, I was breaking out in hives. I don't know why. We don't know what it was for or what it was from, but every single day for like over a week, I was breaking out in hives. So I had to go to the doctor. Um, so that was $20 for my copay. And then I had to go on a steroid. I had to take um, Zyrtec twice a day for like two weeks. Um, so that was expensive with all of the medicine and that doctor's appointment. And then I also had to do a um, follow-up appointment for my medicine for my anxiety. So that was another $20 copay. And then Scarlett had her endocrinology specialist appointment. So that was $20. So we had three doctor's appointments this month instead of two. And with my extra medication that I needed, the allergy medication, I ended up buying a lot. So we have a full stock up because I'm still taking one Zyrtec every day because we don't know what's causing me to break out in hives. We haven't changed anything. So um, they don't really know. My doctors just said that sometimes that happens when you get to my age. I'm like, I'm only 30. Leave me alone. Um, but now that I'm 30, she was just like, sometimes like the most common reason for hives is unknown. So I'm just like, great. Um, I think it might have to do with how I'm eating because I did eat some things that were that I haven't been eating recently. And um, that was when I started getting hives, but I don't know exactly what's causing it. She doesn't think that I could become allergic to something all of a sudden just because I stopped eating it for a while. But I did notice when I started eating like bad stuff that um, I started getting hives. So I don't know, it was on my legs. Anyways, um, yeah, so we went way over on medical. Unfortunately, I just didn't keep track of it. I really think I need to do cash for that instead of just using my card so then I'm aware of when we're going over because at the end of the month, when I am looking at our cards and stuff, I'm having to like move money around. I realize how much extra we spent in medical and I'm just like, ugh, that was so much money. And I didn't even realize it until the end of the month. Um, for our spending, personal spending, my husband gets $50 and I get $50. I don't know if he spent his, but I have like 
seven dollars left of mine um, and then couponing is $40 and I spent all of it. I have been couponing even though I haven't been filming it because I haven't been couponing until like Thursday in the week. And by then I feel like most of you have already gotten the deals. So if you do want to see a couponing video, even if it's not until like Thursday, I'm so sorry about that. But let me know. Otherwise, I'm just keeping up on my donating and my grocery hauls and budgeting right now because I'm just so busy. But now that it's summer, I might get a little bit of break because I don't have to like be carting the kids to and from school two different schools like four times like to and from because they start and end at different times so I feel like I'm just like a taxi all day long <laughs> I swear um but now it's summer today's the last day of school so um internet is um budgeted $80 I spent $76 a credit card we pay $200 on that every month and I paid $200 on it our savings we have $25 automatically going to our savings just to ensure that something is going into our savings every single month our cell phone, um, I have on here twice, $92. That's so weird. So I think that messed up my totals. Um, if it did, I'll edit the description in a couple of days because I don't want to recalculate everything. But I think I had my cell phone, I do have it on here twice. So I think I added it twice. So maybe I'm not as over on my budget as I thought. But um, laundry is $50. We don't have a washer, dryer, or hookups or availability to wash our own clothes in our apartment. Um, but we use laundry facilities there and we take out $50 in quarters in the beginning of the month. Um, and we have some left, so that'll carry over into next month. For speech, Savannah's in speech for two more months. It's $80 for the month. And yes, so our estimated income was $3,400. Um, that is like the lowest income we will make. Our actual income this month was $35.76. And our spending altogether would have been $34.02, so we would have been good. But we did pay for soccer for Scarlett and Savannah to start soccer in the fall in August. Um, we had to pay it now because it was just cheaper if we just went ahead and paid it now. It's $125 for each of them. Um, last year, Scarlett did soccer and Savannah didn't. Now both of them are doing soccer, so it was more expensive. So um, that made us go over our projected, or actually over our projected budget a lot by like $250. And we went over our, what we made this month by $76. So we spent more money this month than we made. Um, and you're gonna wonder like how we do that. We have like $400 just in our checkings account. Um, that's extra from our tax return and I just leave that in there for cushion so I don't have to worry so much about if when I purchase something if I'm going to have enough money in the account for it's just kind of like kind of emergency it's not in our savings account because our savings account is like don't touch that money that's for an emergency um, but things like the soccer like I thought maybe if we need help we can pull from that um, but most of our like all of our tax return went to our car we had to get our air conditioning done we had to get a new water pump we had to get a new um, thing with our coolant like there was just so many problems with the car brakes like we just did a full overhaul in the car and it was like thousands of dollars um, and then we paid off a big chunk of our credit card so we have $400, $400 left. It was $500, but from February to now, we've used about $100 of that extra cushion. Um, and now I only have like $400 of extra cushion um, because we used 76 of it this month. So a lot of that extra cushion is just like, cause I round up and round down and stuff. So I don't do budgeting to the penny always. So it does make up for that margin of error. Um, so it's not bad if from February to April, only $24 of a margin of error is pretty good, um, in keeping track of my money. And this month, um, we went over $76 and I thought we were going to make more money this month too, like way more money, but my husband and me and both the kids all got sick all at different times. So I think he missed like four days of work and I missed five days of work. If we have uncontrolled cold symptoms, I work in food and I can't work when I am like sneezing all over everything. So um, I don't really have that option. I like cannot be at work if my symptoms are not controlled. Um, so between taking care of the kids and ourselves, we missed like eight days of work this month. And we decided since we had an extra paycheck this month not to pay ourselves, which I think was not the greatest decision because then we wouldn't have had to use that extra $76. 
but I mean, you live and you learn. We decided to save that sick pay or save those sick hours for another time and maybe use that for our vacation this year. Um, we, I don't know. I don't know what we're doing. We're just trying our best. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm real with you. I let you know everything, all the money we're spending, all the mistakes that we make because we're learning along the way. And I appreciate all your guys' feedback and help. And I'm going to let you guys go. In a couple days, I'm going to put up a video of our projected June budget. I already did it. I just don't know when I'm going to be able to film it. Um, and we do have some changes for June since it's summer. So um, we have some different things coming. So thank you guys so much. Leave any comments, and I'll get back to you later. Bye.